It's incredible what can happen when someone has strong faith and conviction. This man's wife passed away with a baby still in her womb, but what her husband did next was truly unbelievable. Scene, a banker who had dedicated his life to serving God, was a devoted Christian, well respected in his community for his humility and integrity. His life seemed to be on the right path, so how did he find himself sitting in a hospital waiting room, praying desperately for his wife's life? During his school years, Seen was an outstanding student. He graduated at the top of his class and received offers from some of the world's most prestigious universities. However, this straight a student chose not to attend any of them. Instead, he opted for a university in his home state. When asked why he turned down the chance to study at renowned institutions, he said, it was a great opportunity to study elsewhere, but I felt I was needed more here. I could just sense it. Those schools are filled with brilliant students, and it would have been a privilege to study there, but after praying about it, I knew they weren't the right choice for me. While in college, Seen continued to excel academically, achieving some of the highest results the school had ever seen in his early years. He didn't have much of a social life and had never been in a relationship. His life revolved around a classroom, the library, and his dormitory. But eventually, one of his friends convinced him to go to a pub with her. She was very interested in Seen and wanted to be more than just friends. The young lady had tried various ways to show him that she was in love with him, but when your only focus is on your next paper, it's hard to notice such things. That night at the bar, Seen and Tiffany shared drinks and stories about their academic experiences. They got along so well that everyone in the pub thought they were a couple. The barman said to them, All right, lovebirds, should I bring you another round of drinks, or do you want to take your discussion to a more private place? It's not like that, not what you think. Tiffany and I are just coarse mates and good friends, just having fun, said Seen, while Tiffany remained silent, responding only with a wry smile. He was truly blind to her feelings for him, and she didn't have the courage to tell them how she felt. That's when Tiffany's friend walked in. You know that feeling when you meet someone and the whole world just stops for a moment, and it feels like they're smiling at you. Some people say it's crazy, and that things don't work that way. I used to say the same thing until it happened to me. There was so much noise in the pub, with music playing, people chatting and having fun. But when I saw her, everything went calm and silent, and I could just tell. This was different. Marriage wasn't something I'd always thought about, but I knew she was the one. I feel privileged to have experienced such a moment, and I'd never met anyone like that again, nor will I ever. Those were Seen's words, describing the moment Diana walked into the bar and into his life. I'm not sure where I stand on love at first sight, but this young man says that's exactly what he experienced. However, it seemed like their happily ever after was out of reach. Diana walked straight over to Tiffany, hugged, and kissed her from behind. You could immediately tell how close they were. Tiffany introduced them. Seen, meet Diana, my best friend. Diana, this is Seen, my, my friend. The duo exchanged pleasantries and immediately dove into a conversation, so engrossed I didn't notice how Seen was staring at Tiffany's best friend. A moment later, another guy walked up to Diana, hugged her from behind, and she responded, Is this the man I get to spend the rest of my life with? I am the luckiest woman in the world. She turned and kissed him in a way that showed they were clearly in love. She then announced that her boyfriend Logan had proposed to her about an hour ago. The newly engaged lady was elated and couldn't wait to walk down the aisle. She asked Tiffany to be her chief bridesmaid, and Tiffany agreed. She also told her best friend to bring Seen to the wedding. Everyone in the bar congratulated the couple, and one man even bought free drinks for everyone to celebrate their engagement. Seen couldn't stop thinking about the lady he met at the pub. He couldn't pursue her, as she was someone else's fiancé. But for the next few weeks, she was all he could think about. He prayed to God about it, as he couldn't control how he felt. He tried to stop thinking about her, but instead, he sought more information about her and found out that she was a high-performance athlete. Seen started attending most of her ice skating competitions. Although they hardly spoke at the events, she would occasionally wave at him. It was the closest he ever felt to her. 
Diana was one of the best performers in her field. In every competition, she always finished among the top three, but things changed before the global championships. She had just won the national ice skating title and was one of the favorites for the global competition. However, she discovered her fiancé Logan had been cheating on her with one of her closest friends and fellow skater, Sophia. This betrayal shattered Diana and affected her performances. She didn't do well in the global championships, finishing sixth. Shortly after, Diana realized she was pregnant by her ex-fiancé, but guess what? Sophia was pregnant by him too. The athlete went through a very difficult period, betrayed by both her friend and the man she loved. She eventually decided to have an abortion, not wanting to raise the baby as a single parent. A year after the ordeal, Seen finally shared his feelings with Diana. Although it was hard for her to trust a man again, she eventually agreed, and they started dating. Two years later, they all graduated from university. Seen became a top banker, while Diana retired from skating and started teaching young skaters who wanted to follow in her footsteps. The couple was very successful in their careers. Seen's career progressed rapidly, and he remained deeply religious. Not long after, his wife became pregnant, something they had both hoped for, and they were overjoyed. After six months, her ultrasound revealed she was carrying a girl, but Diana was also a workaholic. She continued working even as her due date approached. One day, while at work, she collapsed and was rushed to the hospital. Seen arrived as soon as he could. He was worried about his wife, but never stopped praying. He had faith that God was in control of the situation. The hospital staff asked Seen to wait while they cared for his wife. After two hours of no updates, he was called into the doctor's office, where he received devastating news. His wife had a brain tumor that had progressed to a stage where nothing more could be done for her. However, the baby was unharmed. The doctors explained that their best course of action was to keep Diana alive for a few more days in order to perform a cesarean section and safely deliver the baby. During this challenging time, Seen never stopped praying or trusting that God was in control. He agreed to the doctor's plan, knowing it was what Diana would have wanted. Tragically, Seen lost his wife just before the baby could be delivered. However, the medical team assured him there was still hope. They performed a post-mortem surgery and successfully delivered the baby from her mother's womb. The newborn was then taken to the NICU and placed in an incubator. Seen called it a true miracle. After a few weeks, the baby was discharged and went home with her father. Seen admits he deeply misses his wife and doesn't believe he will ever fall in love again. However, he trusts that God knows best and is grateful to have his daughter, dedicating all his energy and love to raising her. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.